Let's wait a bit just to get some health back. And there are some Orc Priests. And these guys seem to be asleep. I'm, I'm going to ruin their day. And we just need to get... Uh, we just need to kill... Usually when we run into these guys, we just need to kill the priests and the wizards first. Because they, they are the most dangerous uh, things out of every single thing. Because those uh, priests can... They can just pray you to death. Literally. Sometimes if, if the RNG is just set right, they might... What the heck? A two-headed ogre. A huge ogre with two heads on top of a bloated ogre body. It's capable of holding a weapon in each giant hand. It is. It, it looks extremely dangerous. It is somewhat resistant to hostile enchantment at its and it's large. Uh, let's hope that my arrows will take care of him. Awesome. But I need more arrows. Uh, I'm going. I'm currently down to three regular arrows and seven flame arrows. And that's a that's a staircase to the temple. I might have to rely more on melee weaponry and wands. I have a couple of wands as well. And that's a centaur. Oh damn. Um Heal wounds, thank you. Okay. The centaurs are super dangerous. They can kill you extremely quickly. That's cursed jewelry thing. An adder. Whoa, I got a bunch of arrows. That's nice. I like that. I think what I need is I need to enchant uh I need to enchant my weapons. So yeah, let's let's enchant my bow tons so that it does a t ton of extra damage and stuff. Because you don't really see any like better bows. You see a bu bunch of better like swords and stuff like that. But you rarely see better bows. And actually let's check my skills again. So my bows is at 11. That means that I'm extremely proficient with uh, bows. And my, uh, my short blade skill isn't doing bad either. But I'm, I'm fairly... I'm I'm okay with this. A ton of slaves. I probably shouldn't attack the slaves. I should attack the uh the this pickle dude. But I guess I can't st uh, stop that anymore. So just some animal skin and stuff. Um I guess we're just going to have to fight the guy. But I bet if I kill Pickel first, it triggers something extra. And yes, I know I'm getting destroyed. Okay, yeah, the, the, the slaves are now free. And that means that they won't attack me. That's why I was trying to focus fire the... Yeah, they have this small smiley next to them. So they, they just run around doing stuff. I don't really care. I just need some health back. But yeah, we did a good deed. We killed a slaver and uh, freed some slaves. So at least we did something interesting on this run. And more stuff like this happens when we get lower and lower. This is a relatively good run, we're on uh, dungeon level 6 already. Um, let's go for intelligence. Aha. Uh -huh. I think we ran into a... into a trap of some sort, but I don't think it did anything to us. It just uh, 
Dolan. Uh oh. Throw frost, corona, blink, throw flame, haste, other minor healing. Okay. Uh, a beautiful but vain elf with an aptitude for magic and little else. His skills are perfect complement of his twin sister Duvesa's fighting prowess. Don't tell me there's... Uh, yep, yeah, Duvesa is here. Okay, I'm focus firing and hope that I kill them. Duvesa goes berserk, not good. I killed Duvesa. I'm not sure what happened to... Oh, I killed both of them. Dovan and Duvesa are both dead. That's awesome. And that's just another slave. Those slaves are probably dead anyway. But I'm happy that they are here. Okay, and I'm done. I'm done with this level. Okay, and I can go down another level. Crimson yeah, Imp. Will you die? Finally. And let's get all of this stuff. So we could go to the temple, uh, but because I already have a god, I don't see the reason why. So let's go down instead. Another scroll of teleportation. These are always good, just in case we get completely uh, surrounded for some reason. And I should probably experiment with these potions. Oh, that's a potion of poison. I'm going to go up, because this level is a bit safer, so I can just wait. And that's a potion of might. That's a potion of slowing. Potion of bl brilliance and a potion... Uh... A potion of speeding up. And we are lightly contaminated with the re residual magic because we uh, drank so many poison, uh, potions. Some poisons, too. But I'm just going to wait, uh, uh, wait those out. Just in case. And the contamination is out, uh, also out. But yeah, testing these potions out is not nearly as... Uh, uh, restore abilities. It's not nearly as uh, dangerous as it might be in various kinds of other games. It seems at, it seems like that at least. I rarely run into any like completely bad stuff, and even even if it's bad, I can usually recover. It's not that bad. Let's actually check what my status with Eurydelemnal is. Your dilemma is aware of our devotion. That's good. Uh, did he grant us any abilities? Yes, we can now animate remains. And uh, that uh, costs... I think that's, uh, that just costs, like... Um, like mana. Because they can cost various kinds of things. That's the thing I don't really like about these religious powers, because they can... Sometimes they cost food, and sometimes piety, so the more you use them, the angrier your god gets, and the less food you have. So I don't like that. Because food is... Food is a bad thing, as it is. And it doesn't have to get any worse. Okay. Um, so no remains. But if we find some remains, we are going to make sure to animate them. And we killed the phantom. With the uh, with the bow it's relatively easy. And we're done exploring, so that's yet another level. Okay, we're dungeon on dungeon level 8, which means that we are actually doing super awesome. We might we we might still hit the uh, uh, the high score. It's not likely, but we might. And this is already 
second place on that high score list. And we have some remains here. So let's uh, let's actually before I forget, let's reanimate that. And now we have ourselves a jackal zombie. And we have officially made it very clear that we are actually bad. So it's good to know that. And that's just uh, cursed stuff. We're not interested. And uh, do we have anything here? No? Well, that's fine. And I think we should probably also... That's not necessary, we don't need that. And uh, let's try this. A profound silence engulfs you, it was a scroll of silence. So that means that... I think we're silent. So we can just walk around and nobody will be able to hear us. But they can probably see us very well. And another scroll of silence. Let's try this scroll. Okay, so that's the scroll of uh, magic mapping. So now we know what what is on this level. And I have to say, the level level design is very interesting. Of course it's not designed by anyone, like... Really, it's uh, it's randomly generated, but it generates interesting looking maps. Okay, a giant frog. But we, we should probably find... Uh... Yeah, this costs only some MP, so th that's fine. But I, I should probably find a new short sword, if I can. I mean, I have an elven short sword, which is pretty good. But if we can find a better one, that's awesome. And we should at least enchant it, if we can find any enchantment po uh, uh, potions. What are these? Oh, these are fog. That's actually pretty good. In case we need to escape, we can just cast fog. Random uselessness, awesome. I wonder if there is any like real use for them. I mean, these sorts of games have various kinds of gimmick mechanics and stuff like that. And that's a scorpion. I hate those guys. Uh, should I switch to uh, Warped? So base armor 3 and encumber is 4. And this is 3 and 4. And it, ha uh, it can be maximally enchanted. Can this? Uh, it cannot. So my, my armor is better. So far my minions haven't been all that useful. But at least I have some minions, so I'm officially uh, a servant of Eurydice Lemnal. And talking about uh, that, let's reanimate. We fail. And the dead are walking, that's good. And you feel somewhat hungry, doesn't matter. Now we are just going to wait a bit. Die. And now we have been. We're no longer sick, so we can just uh, continue on to the next level. And there's a staircase. Awesome! Okay, and I got a new scroll. A necrophage. A vile undead creation of the most unholy necromancy. These creatures are made from the decaying corpses of humanoid creatures. They exist to spread diseases and decay, and gain power from the decaying corpses of other beings. Okay, we better kill that guy. And our god told us that we should kill any undead. Because they are not truly dead. Uh, yeah, not truly alive. Not truly up. Oh, that's a hi hippogriff.
This can be a bit dangerous, I think. Okay. So far, so good. And more jackals. Your animal accepts your uh, accept, uh, accepts your kill. You can now recall your undead slaves and mirror injuries on your foes. Okay, so we uh, we unlocked more powers because we have been good. This is like the easiest god to please. And standing here next. Damn it! The troll has trolled us. Uh, your body rises from the dead as a mindless zombie. Well, that's fine. That's a fine, fine fate for me, I think. That that wasn't a bad run. I mean, we had a. I sort of did dumb at the end. I should have run. I should have remembered that trolls are actually bad. But for some reason, I blanked out and I was like, "Yeah, I can kill this." Don't get too cocky about anything in a uh, uh, dungeon crawl stone soup, you're just going to get yourself killed. But at least we un we got a bunch of stuff. And we saw a lot of things and stuff. So yeah, it wasn't bad and we got 30,000 points and we died on the dungeon level f uh, 9. So that was still one of the best runs I've ever had. And I, I'm happy that I could show you. This run. Sadly, I didn't get to show you the best run ever. But that happens. Anyway, I think that's good enough for now. And as always, we will see in future videos.